welcome to the show. As always, I'm Fran Excel Mindset Coach, helping you find your very own pair of positive pants so you can get out of your own way and finally live a life, live a life that you love. So today I am going to be talking about why it's so important to be positive when you're starting a business and indeed when you're trying to achieve anything big in life. I like to talk about both because the thing is, is a huge amount of us want to start businesses or have started businesses and all these sorts of things. But there is so much more that we can do with this stuff. This applies to everything. But when I talk about it, I'm mainly talking about it in a business sense. So, OK, do you, do you struggle to feel positive? Because trying to start your dream business often feels like you're pushing water uphill. One of my favorite phrases. So if you're still in, you, you might still be in a toxic environment and know that you're capable of so much more and that there's more to life than living for the weekend. All right. But something is getting in your way and it's stopping you from pushing forward in your business. And it is highly likely to be your mindset. So here's what I mean. I firmly believe that you have to store, sort your mindset before you can p push forward with anything big in life. If you're in a job that you can't stand, for example, and you're always focusing on the negatives or any situation, if you're in a negative situation and all you're doing is focusing on those negatives, say Monday to Friday or all the time, it will spill out into everything else you do. The trouble is you're training your brain to be that way and in turn making it really difficult to be able to see the positives. And so much more difficult to achieve what you want. But often, sorting the way you look at things is all it takes to make you fly. It's really easy to do when you know how, but it really does take time. So what you've got to do is break old habits and old ways of thinking that do not serve you anymore and form new ones that do. You literally need to rewire your brain for the positive. Now, don't worry, it is not as difficult as it sounds at all. It does just take time and effort on your part. So this certainly doesn't mean that you have to be positive all the time. And there's another episode for that. Um, there's a huge amount of things. Where the, the cliff notes of that episode is negative emotions can tell you a lot. And so there are a lot of useful ways to use them. So go and listen to that episode if you haven't heard it yet. But what it is about is creating awareness of and learning to manage your own thoughts and in turn your own actions and your own behaviours. Because positive thoughts lead to positive beliefs and positive actions lead to positive results. Negative thoughts lead to procrastination and not getting anywhere. So also think about it practically. If you're a negative Nelly, will people want to do business with you? Would you want to do business with you? So in essence, not being positive can directly affect your business and your business's bottom line. So it's worth sorting, right? But on the flip side, positivity and a positive outlook is absolutely infectious and acts like a magnet for those people who you really want to attract. So those people who, you know, your, your vibe attracts your tribe. And it will also be so much easier when you sort this. I cannot tell you how much easier it will feel. Starting a business is hard. You will have setbacks. You will make mistakes. You'll hear no a lot. There will be points that you deal with all the inevitable mindset gremlins that I talk about. The fear, the overwhelm, the procrastination, the self-doubt, the comparisonitis, the imposter syndrome, and all the rest. You name it, you will feel it. But this is all sortable when you shift your thinking to the positive. If the stress or fear center of your brain, your amygdala, is constantly activated, it actively stops your ability to think. And you kind of need to be able to think when you're in this game. <laughs> Whereas people who think positive, more positively have a greater capacity to take on new information. They have better memories. They're able to tackle setbacks better and more quickly and any issues or obstacles more efficiently and effectively. So it's worth thinking about. <laughs> You'll also have more energy because what happens when you're in fear, in fight or flight, all that energy rushes to your brain and that's where your energy is going. So everything goes there, which means that your ability to think, it goes to this one particular area of the brain which is preparing you to fight or run away. So the other thing is you'll be more grateful and accepting. So you're not going to feel like an imposter. 
you're not going to compare your, yourself because you'll care less. You'll be in your own lane. You'll understand what you're doing. You won't envy other people's success and secretly hope they fail in some way. That's right, I see you. <laughs> you will attribute other success to grit, determination, hard work, rather than just dumb luck or that they've got what you want because they're prettier or thinner or have more money than you. All of those excuses will go out the window. You won't overanalyze everything or have, you know, chronic self-doubt, which I know a lot of you struggle with. To be resilient, which you need in business, you need to see the positives. To be able to reframe, which you need in business, you need to be able to see the positives. To be able to stay motivated and inspired to push forward, which you need in business, you need to be positive. <laughs> To not give up when it gets hard, which it will. You have super highs and super lows. You need to be positive. And to solve problems, you need to be positive. Negativity can and will affect your performance, your work ethic, and your productivity. See how this stuff works? I truly believe that having a positive mindset from the get-go is absolutely the key to success. So here are a few ways that you can start doing it today so journaling is my number one obviously and if you want to learn more about this you can look at episode one nine and nineteen um this is where i recommend you start with your mindset stuff honestly it's what i credit with shifting my mindset from ear on a bad day to a positive resilient person who can deal with most things that get thrown at her i asked my husband the other day what's what do you think my superpower is he's like you have the ability to turn anything into a positive even when your back's against the wall and that a couple of years ago well four years ago would never have been something that anybody would have said about me this is something i have learned so i'm fran 2.0 if you will you can check out my um, my printable store which is full of exercises and journal templates to help you along the way and find your positive pants by starting to retrain your brain. It's a process called neuroplasticity. It is backed by science. You don't have to believe me, but trust me, you are missing out if you don't. So the next one I've got for you is meditation. I talk about this quite a bit as well. This is partly self-care and partly something that should be a non-negotiable in your life. Using mindfulness, which is a form of meditation, and meditation will... You will be a calmer, more rational, more positive person. The connections between your right and left brain hemis hemispheres literally get stronger. It's called the corpus callosum and it runs down the middle. And what that means is times when things don't quite go according to plan, your analytical, creative and problem solving minds will all work together that much better. You know, which means that you can solve problems and bounce back that much more quickly. So it's worth investigating, right? The next one is gratitude. Now, gratitude has been turned into something that comes across as a little bit woo-woo or zen, you know, but it is not that way at all. It is something that fundamentally, again, is backed in science. It's one of my favorites and also what is known in positive psychology as an intervention. So if you're feeling anxious, fearful, stressed, you can actually use gratitude to shift all that around. If we take an example of working in a toxic environment or in a job that you hate or in a situation that you hate, you know, you dread every morning, right? What are the positives of that job or situation? What does it allow you to do? Who does it allow you to be? Do you have close friends or colleagues or contacts or people that you know that are as a direct result of having that? Start to focus on these more and get grateful for them. They will be there. Sometimes they just take a little bit of looking for, but they will be there in whatever situation. So reframing. This is episode four if you want any more information. So how can you look at things differently? Reframing is definitely one of my most used tools and one that I think is hugely important in your business. Even more so if you're juggling a job or a situation that is making you look negatively upon it you know if, if there's something if, if you're a busy mum and your kids going crazy you can use this to reframe those situations too the next one is affirmations so positive affirmations sound super woo woo I get it I thought the same for a really long time until I started learning this sciencey stuff there is huge amount of scientific re research that backs it up so it's worth giving a go I would focus on one particular negative thought and belief per month and, uh, you know, uh, one that you want to change. 
say out loud your positive version and write it down every single day. The brain to hand muscle connection is so much stronger when you actually write these things down, but they work because you're essentially telling your brain to believe something and it starts to do it over time. It's little, they're magic little things. Um, don't forget that your vibe attracts your tribe. So check who you spend your time with. Up level your friendships. If you're currently holding on to toxic or negative relationships, let them go or limit your time in them. I understand there are certain relationships like family members and things like that that you can't just let go of, but you can limit your time with them and you can handle them in a different way. And you can do all of these other tools that I'm talking about. So the reframing and all of these different things and the gratitude to help those situations as well. But if you can, let go of the negative relationships. It's incredibly powerful. Surround yourself with positive people who drive you forward and support you and get it. I can't stress the importance of this enough. It makes a huge difference. And I'm actually going to do a whole other episode on this because finding my biz besties is one of the best things that I've ever done. And one of the things that has driven me forward more than anything else it could have possibly done. It really does make a huge difference. So I will dedicate an entire episode to that. The, ne the next one and the last one is visualize success. All right, I know you think I'm going really woo-woo with this episode, but I promise you I'm not. All of this stuff is backed in science. Success really does start in the mind. Spend some time visualizing what your life will look like once you hit your goals. How will you feel? Who will you be? Marinate in that as often as you can. Because the thing is, is when you're doing visualization, and a lot of the time I will use meditation for this, um, and guided meditations, especially for this, because when you're visualizing, what you do is, have you ever had that situation where you wake up in a dream and it feels so real? Like you wait, If you're crying in a dream and you wake up and you're crying, that is because the brain doesn't distinguish between when you're asleep and when you're awake. So what's what's dreaming and what is reality? You have the same physio physiological reactions. Can't get my words out today. The same physiological reactions that you would, whether you were dreaming about it or it was really happening. So what that does is it allows your brain to act as if. It allows your brain to relax. You know, when your amygdala goes off because you're fearful and you're going into the unknown and you're stepping outside your comfort zone, visualizing where you're going to be is essentially telling your brain that it's all going to be OK. And then that reaction gets less, which means the fear gets less, which means you can then take action more. OK, so I hope that makes sense. When you think positively, you will behave positively. You will take positive actions and you will get positive results. So I hope all of that makes perfect sense to you but that is why being positive is so darn important when you're trying to start a business and when you're trying to achieve anything big because if you don't sort this stuff you will be pushing water uphill and that is difficult we know that <laughs> this is something that I feel really strongly about something I think is is hugely important and not enough people talk about it there's not enough people talking about the fact that this stuff this stuff is easy but if you are trying to start a business from that negative mindset, or if you are starting to do anything big, make any changes from that negative mindset, it's going to be tough. It's going to be 10 times harder than it needs to be. So on that note, as always, I will see you next week. Bye.